Hey guys, I'm Jackie and welcome back to Jackie Naturals. So if you haven't noticed by the title of this video, today we are applying these Color Street nail strips to my nails and we are going to start with Tokyo Lights, their number one bestseller and we are using this for accent nails. And I love the glitter and shimmer in that and then we're going to go ahead and apply this set from Color Street. This is going to be the main set and this is called Gratitude is Everything. I love that name and I was looking for a pink tone since it is a breast cancer awareness this month. This is the closest that I had in my collection. I ordered some other ones but I'm waiting to get them in the mail so I will be switching to those. But right now I'm showing you how I opened up the package and I did want to point out that it does have instructions on how to apply it down below. But I am currently removing the nail file. It comes with every set which is awesome and they are super cute. I love the designs on them. The hearts are absolutely perfect for Valentine's Day so it is so cute. I'm going to save that for a giveaway. And now we have the nail prep pads and that's what we're going to use to prep our nails and I'll tell you more about that shortly and then we have the star of the show the set gratitude is everything and I love that it has that pink tone I was going for that for breast cancer awareness month so now I'm taking the nail prep pad and this is going to remove any oils or lotions I have on my nails also I do want to mention if you don't have this you can also always use rubbing alcohol to do this step so you don't have to worry about that and I also did buff and file and push back my cuticles off camera. So make sure you do that to prep your nails as well before you use the prep pad or the alcohol to clean the nails. But now we're taking Tokyo Light, my favorite. I love my glitter, guys. And I am putting this on my accent nails. So I am sizing it right now. This is the best way to size it. And I did want to show you all this. So you can actually curve it to your nail to see how it fits. And you can stretch it a little bit when it's on the nail if it's not perfect or if it goes over that's not a problem as well I'm actually going to be showing you guys what you would do if it goes over so you want to go ahead and separate them so I'm going to remove the clear plastic over it and then I'm going to remove the actual nail polish strip and that's attached to the silver tab and you can pull that off right now once you remove it from the paper or you can do it after sometimes I do it before or after it really doesn't matter it's just your preference but as you see in this demo I'm going to remove it now and there's a little piece that was left on it so I'm going to just use my nail and pull it right off as you see it's very easy to use and I love to use the white paper for an anchor because it gives me something to hold on to and then I just go ahead and lay it down if there is a problem or it's on my cuticles all you have to do is lift it up carefully and you can replace it it's not a problem so I'm going to go ahead and show you the other way that the instructions from Color Street show you how to do it so you can find what way works best for you but this is the way that I find is the easiest for me so this is what I'm demonstrating first so I'm just using my thumbnail and that's what I like to use I push it under the nail as much as I can so I can cover that tip of my nail and I just use my thumb under and I just go ahead and cut it with my thumb it is very pliable so it's very easy to use and I'm just going ahead and making sure it's smoothed out and adhered to the nail properly so I don't have any issues with lifting and thus far I have not so I am loving it so after I push it down I do like to take the cuticle push and you do not have to do this step but I do like to make sure that it's sealed in properly around my cuticles and make sure it's not over the cuticles and if I need to remove any I can easily do that with the end of the stick or I can use my fingernail like I said it's very pliable so it's easy to do so I'm just pushing it down again I'm a little excessive with the pushing it down but I want to make sure it's adhered properly so I don't have any issues and it will last me so far I've worn them for over 10 days and I have had no problem so now I'm going to take the piece that was left over from the other pinky finger and I'm going to use that on the other side. My nails are short enough so it does work. The only one this did not work with was my thumb because they are a little bit longer so I did have to use two totally separate strips. So I did include this portion because I wanted you to see that I just laid it down and I started to push it down a little bit and then I realized that it wasn't on properly so I just lift it up gently and it's going back on with no problem at all and then I'm just going to use my finger and my nail to smooth it out around the cuticle but this is definitely possible so you don't be worried if you do put it on wrong you can always lift it up gently so now I'm going to go ahead and pinch the bottom of it so that way you can seal it around the edge of the nail. This is one of the application techniques that Color Street says to use which is great if you're not using the other 
end of the nail strip. If you are, you can't do this, but when you're using it for the second time, the same nail strip, you can definitely do that so you can get that great seal around the edge of the nail. So that is a great technique and I definitely do that when I no longer need to use that nail strip at all. So now I'm just cleaning up around the edges with my nail or you can use your orange stick or cuticle pusher either or whichever one you're most comfortable with. So I'm using the cuticle pusher just to push it and make sure the cuticles around that area is sealed. And I definitely love how this one came out as well. So now I'm showing you guys the color street way by holding the entire strip in your hand and just applying it that way without using the white backing for the anchor. And this is not a bad way to do it either. I just find it a little more challenging. I like to have the paper on the back because it gives me something to hold on to and it's not sticky. So for me that works best. But I did want to show you guys this as well. Try it both ways and see what works best for you. I think this process is just getting used to it because this is not something that we're used to doing. We're used to polishing our nails, but it is a lot easier once you get the hang of it. So now you pinch the end and you crease it over the bottom and the edge of the nail. And that's what I'm doing here. Now I must admit, I love this for the perfect seal. You saw me do it before. It does seal it in, but this is the color street way using the nail file in a downward motion to cut the strip however I prefer to use my thumb under the nail to seal in the ends but they both look great so try it out see which one works best for you I absolutely love how it came out another set I'm loving it so I hope you enjoyed seeing some of my tips and tricks and what works best for me if you would like to try out these nail strips please take a look at my website I would greatly appreciate you supporting my small business and the website is www.colorstreet.com forward slash Jackie Naturals. Thank you and have a great day.